Hi guys, Nelson Rodriguez here from KDS Models USA and we're going to talk about um, how to set up the basics on your EVAR and this is more related about my KDS Agile 5.5 let me give you a couple of tips first thing is you have a save button here I don't use the load because as soon as you um, turn on the, the device basically everything comes in the screen so you have exit here and enter up and down and first thing we're gonna go is mounting you have your device orientation you can verify that with your manual if it's rear back in my case my iPhone 5.5 has the wires uh, facing back so that's rear clockwise HR3 that's the type of swatch plate you have and the, can, the type of uh, receiver that you have. In my case, I'm using S-Bus. Um, as soon as you do any, any changes, press save and back. Second step is gonna be servos. In my case, I'm using digital servos. You, gotta, you can choose analog. Here, the first thing that, that you need to do is um, basically move your servos up and down and um, make sure you know you're gonna be reversing the servos until you get that swatch plate moving up and down perfectly. So guys, I'm, I'm here basically. Um, we're gonna check our swatch plate movement. So you go to um, servo one. You're gonna reverse it, or you're gonna put it no more. Basically, all we're gonna look here is to have the swatch plate going up and down with our collective. So basically you're gonna reverse the channel. That's the first thing you're gonna look for. After you have everything set up, you're gonna go, um, you're gonna look for, to center the, the servo arms perfectly 90 degrees. So basically, if you go to step number five on servos, if you look my, I don't have any stick movements. I mean, everything is set 90 degrees. So here you're gonna center your servo arms in the tail and in the in cycling. Okay, here in the panel, as you can see, we have servo one new, servo two new, new, and servo three new, step five, six, seven. Basically here is sub trim. You're gonna trim your servo to get um, 90 degrees on the servo arms on um, servo one. I mean, this is, in this case, in Fitawa, you have servo one, servo two, and servo number three here. And after you get your 90 degrees of, of um, in the servo, you basically need to um, level your washout arm, your follower arms. How you do that? Uh, let me give you my numbers um, here in the first two. I have from the plastic to plastic, from here to from here to here, I have 15 millimeters. It's a lot, but it's, it's very tight, but that's where I have everything completely flat, my washout, and everything looks perfectly in, uh, in this two, 15 millimeters. Here, I have 36 on the elevator, 36 millimeters on elevator to get everything perfectly flat, 90 degrees on my, my swatch place level, my uh, watch hours level, that's what you need to look for. These are good numbers to start, but no, it's, maybe it's not gonna be what uh, you need to get to get everything perfectly. That's what I get for you can be different, but it's a good place to start, okay? All right, we, um, after doing trims, we click save and we go back and we go in now step four, controls. Okay, collected drive, basically that's what, to get everything um, to reverse the collective or not. Collective pitch, you can, I got a, um, 100, I have 14 degrees of pitch right now. And if you need less, you can just lower that number and you're gonna get less travel. Um, next step is, is a zero, uh, collective pitch zero. Here you have no movement and you can set zero degrees of pitch on your blades. Next step is cyclic travel. If you look at your swatch plate here, that's the maximum travel that you're gonna have. Um, 175 for me is, is working just fine. 
exponential that's up to you if you want to run exponential in your evar that's fine for me i remove it i put zero and i run exponential on my radio um until on um, cycling that's up to your taste i can't tell you numbers because everyone is different um pitch acceleration basically that's pitch pump it's gonna give you a little more pop when you use your cyclic uh, your collective sorry your collective um, to my taste 12 works great if you want a linear feel you can use zero fly bar feel very important that's basically paddle simulation I use it on 36 because I like my response on center, on center to be snappy so if you don't like the helicopter to be aggressive and responsive on center you can lower that down NC area liver 2 that's fine that's basically the uh, um, how you call it basically that's um, the neutral area of center so how, how quick it's gonna respond liver 0 is gonna be just fine and we click save after any changes go back fly mode okay guys this is to your taste basically digital I got it on vivid that's my preference the helicopter on vivid doesn't feel uh, robotic it's more like a fly bar feel that is 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 fluid um, to your taste you can adjust that to medium or precise play with it it's just fine and uh, just give it a shot and see how it goes <clears throat> sorry I'm a little sick on step two we have the uh, cyclic gain bar gain basically you I, I got 72 that depends on blade servos that's up to you you gotta fly the helicopter look for wobbles see how the helicopter stops and you know just play with the game motion I got it on 85 stock fly fine just for me um, just fine okay any changes press save go back right guys I forgot to mention after we go in um, on servos and you have everything reversed right you gonna and you have your swatch play going up and down you're gonna look for um, the cyclic movement um, that is corrected basically you need to have forward back left and right basically you do that in um, you reverse that in your radio and all you gotta do is um, after the swatch play is going up and down you reverse it on the software on the on the control panel you gotta have forward back left and right and you get it reversing the channels on your radio all right guys um we're gonna now we're gonna go to tail adjustments all right the first one is your pulse and that depends on the tail servo you have second one is your frequency again that's the uh, up to the servo you have in my case my tail servo is an mks 980 is rated to 600 uh, sorry 560 Hertz and but uh, it's fine if you go 33 the, the e bar was just fine here you're gonna look well you're gonna move the helicopter left and right and see where the slider go and do reverse it here and after reverse it you go to your channel reverse in your radio and go left and right in the tail and basically you reverse the movement of the of the servo in your radio okay now going we're going travel clockwise so basically you're gonna you're gonna move this the the stick clockwise and limit do the limit so in my case I have clockwise and counterclockwise I have it of 61 I have um, basically my my servo road center the most I can that, that way I have an equal number each way and I don't have a binding and works fine for me I have 70 millimeters on my uh, servo arm on the tail and 20 to 21 on the cycling okay after that I got my gyro gain that's up to you guys again you gotta fly the helicopter and uh, see how the tail behaves in my case I have 70 works just fine jaw rate uh, I have it on 90 uh, that's the maximum I believe um, if it's too fast for you guys go to the DR and lower the the dual rates a little bit to get the tails or rotation to your taste tail acceleration um, that's how quick it's gonna respond the tail on center 
when you apply an input. I got it on 65, that's my taste, you gotta fly the helicopter and see how it behaves for you. If you, it doesn't respond quicker, you can increase the number or lower it. Depends on what you want. Exponent, again I have exponential, I have zero because I use it on my radio. Stop clockwise and counterclockwise. That's how you want that tail to stop, how crisp and how aggressive. 22 for me works just fine, it's smooth. So I'm able to do transition left and right smooth and it's no fighting me. So 22, 25, 30, I believe it's gonna be just fine. You got, again, you gotta fly the helicopter and adjust it to your taste. That's not really critical because the, the tail behave just fine. Stock is 22, I'm running just 20. Sorry, the stock is 20, I'm running just 22. Um, NC area, that's the, the, the center again, lever stock five, that's fine. And basically, any changes, you click save, go back, and that completes our setup. Very important part after doing the setup, go bar monitor, click enter, make sure that you have 100, 100 that the e bar is reading 100 in elevator, aileron, rotor. I got 106 because I trim a little more. Pitch I have 100 and 100. Oh, 96, sorry. Because I I, um, I adjusted a little more my native pitch. But it's very important that at least on side click and it's very close to 100 to get the best of the EVAR. Um, you can adjust that on the end point to get everything perfect. All right, guys. This is Nelson Rodriguez from KDS. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. You can, if you got any questions, just email me to nelson at nail3d.com or you can go to my website, nail3d.com. Send me an email with any questions. And uh, we're gonna be more than happy to help you out uh, with setup, help you out with setups or any questions that you have about the KDS E-Bar or KDS helicopters, all right? Thanks for watching.